Adding a contact button to the conversations as well as the contact tab is a huge time saver. I'm going to show you how. So you'll notice here, well, I've already got this tag here, so I'm going to ruin the story a little bit. So I'm in conversations. Now you'll see that I have two tags or two buttons up here, apply this tag and go to link. I'm going to show you what those do. Now if I click apply this tag, you guessed it, it's going to apply that tag there. Now what does go to link do? Now go to link actually pulls up the specific link, preloads the contact information, the name as well as the email address, and it saves a lot of time for a specific rep to be able to take care of a task for a client or to fill out a form. That's how that's done. Now, how this is actually done is it can be white labeled inside of sub accounts. So you can see here we're in contact buttons. Now, if I want to create a new button, I just click add and it pulls it up and then I can just create it right here. Okay, it's going to change the color so we don't blend in, select the icon, right? All right, there we go. So once I create that, it's going to add it up here. Now we use this space that we create all the way across the, across the conversations as well as the contact record. So you're not limited by the number of buttons you can create, but you are no limited by the amount of space that you have up here. So you want to be considerate of how long these, the names of these buttons are. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Super helpful. If you have any questions, holler.